Hey guys, welcome to the next part of the tutorial. So we're just going to continue from where we left off. Uh, so this episode we're actually going to uh, add our landing so we're not just um, playing our falling animation when we hit the ground. <laughs> Okay, so what we'll do to get started, firstly, I'm going to add another grid so that we can test our falling without jumping. So I'm going to add a little bit more space. Um, we'll just put it down here, just so we can get a little bit more air time. Uh, let's just make sure that I can actually hit that. Make sure I can reach it. Just about, let's move it up a little bit more. A little bit more that way. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish our script. Uh, so we're going to move to our is falling. Uh, so what we're actually going to do now is instead of returning our is grounded, we're actually going to go ahead and calculate is falling. Um, so we actually add an if, and we're going to be using our new variable that we created, uh, which is our falling speed. So we'll say falling speed does go into the negative. So we'll say falling speed, um, and we need to use our falling threshold. So if falling speed is less than falling threshold, um, we'll just return true. Um, and by default, we will return false. We already had return there. Uh, we'll just return false. Okay. Uh, so now is falling is done. We'll come back down to calculate falling. Uh, so I'm going to copy this and I'm actually going to add it to our update here underneath calculate sprint. So calculate falling up here. Um, actually, let's we'll put that under gravity. We'll just pop that there. Okay, so now we have um, our is falling working. Uh, we're going to create inside calculate falling. We'll do an if. So we'll say if is falling. Um, and not is grounded and not um, we have jumping triggered and not jumping triggered so if we're falling um, and we're not grounded and uh, jumping is triggered not triggered sorry uh, here we want to play the falling animation um, so what we'll actually do is we'll create another boolean up here for public bool falling triggered just like that I'm going to copy that boolean we'll go a little bit further down here we'll say falling triggered equals true and we're just going to add that up here as well say and not falling triggered Okay, uh, so falling triggered will also set with jumping triggered as well. So jumping triggered, mainly because at the end of the jumping animation, we um, in the animator, we set it to the falling. So we'll say jumping triggered. Uh, falling triggered is true in here as well. Okay, uh, so we'll go down a little bit more. Come back down here to falling animation. So what we'll do is we'll do character animator dot set trigger again um, except we'll set falling this time there we go um, so let's just make sure that this works for now um, I'm just going to go to our character uh, we need to set our falling threshold so I'm going to set that to minus two for now we'll have a play with it and see what's best I'm going to hit play so we'll keep an eye on falling speed as well so that we can set our threshold. Um, so it doesn't look like falling speed has been set. So let's uh, have a look why I don't think I added falling speed. We never added falling speed. Okay, so <laughs> my apologies there. That's why that'll uh, constantly be zero. So here we need to work out our falling speed. Um, so like I said in the last tutorial, we're going to work it out relative to our uh, character's rotation. So to do that, we'll say falling speed equals, so we do the rotation we want to, uh, we want it relative from, so we'll do transform, and then we will do an inverse transform direction, so whatever velocity we hand through will be relative to our transform. 
That sounds like a mouthful. Don't worry, it is complicated if you don't understand it. <laughs> um, once you start using it, it took me a few times to get used to how it works, play around with it a little bit. Um, so now we need to hand in our uh, character controller dot velocity. Okay, so what this does is it works out our velocity relative to our character. So if the character is falling down the direction of his feet, um, it'll always be the Y axis. Okay, so this is thrown an error now because this returns a vector three and obviously falling speed is not a vector three. Um, but because it's relative to the player, our falling speed will always be in the Y. Uh, so we'll set falling speed to the velocity Y. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and hit play. Make sure that this is working. Okay, there we go. It actually worked this time and you see it pulled out trigger. Um, let's just set it to minus four this time because that was called pretty quick. Okay, looks like I hit minus four anyway. We'll come through here. Okay, let's try uh, something like minus six for now. We'll just hit play. See, the thing is, I don't want it to be called like straight away. There we go, that was better. Okay, so yeah, I don't want it to be called straight away. Uh, what we could actually do is add another, like a falling light. Um, but because this uh, animation actually changes the character quite a bit, I kind of... Um, hang on, let's set that back to minus four. Okay, contradicted what I said. Let's continue. <laughs> okay, so we've got calculate falling. So we have our falling animation play when our character's falling. Um, we now need to work on the landing animations. Uh, so we're basically going to do another if. Uh, so now it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, well, so we'll say if falling triggered um, and is grounded. So basically if our falling was triggered and we're grounded, we now need to land. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do character.set trigger. Just throw in a land there. And we will see how this behaves. It's going to hit play. We'll see. Okay, so not quite what we wanted, um, but something is happening. So I'll go back to here, animator. Oh, okay. Yeah, of course. All right, so that's good. That's supposed to happen. Um, what we need to do is then set falling triggered um, to false and also jumping triggered to false. Oh, okay, now let's have a look. <laughs> Although that looked pretty cool. I guess most developers would call that a feature. Hit play, make sure that this works now. Which it does. You can see our positions on our animation is a little off. Um, but it does play. And we can jump. Okay, so one of the issues we have now is it looks like it's calling this uh, straight away because it looks like is grounded is still true uh, when we set falling triggered. Um, so when we jump up here. Okay, so what we're also going to do is um, we'll also have a threshold check in the land. Uh, so what we'll do is also grab our... Where is it? Our falling speed. I keep scrolling around, probably <laughs> making you feel a little bit sick. Um, so we're going to add another and we'll add another condition onto here. And so what we're basically going to do is if falling speed is less than zero. So basically if we're falling down instead of up. Um, and we can actually change that to say minus 0.1f just to make sure it's not hovering on zero. And we'll go ahead and see what this looks like now. Let's just make sure we can jump. Which we can. And our land is played. Okay. Alright, so what we'll also do um, later on is we'll change how the player moves when he's in the air. Um, so we can 
uh, bring his movement speed right down and make sure we're not playing any walking animations or anything um, when he's not on the ground. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly, I'm going to have a play with the uh, falling landing. Uh, so we'll have a look and see what's going on here. Uh, so it's the Y we're having issues with. Let me change that to feet. And I'll apply that, see if we're any better now. Okay, we are. So the keyframes are a little off, mainly because we do have a little bit of falling on our land, which we don't want. This animation will find the keyframe we want to bring it from. So we'll say, it looks like frame 10. So if I scroll up and actually edit this animation, we can cut it. Just like so. Hit apply. We'll see what this looks like now. Gonna hit play. All right, so see the animations are working. A um, little bit of uh, tinkering still needed though. Um, so in the next few tutorials, we'll go over actually um, adding a few more features to it, making our jumping a little bit more realistic. I uh, hope you found these quite easy to follow. Um, if you did, make sure you give the video a like. If you didn't, uh, just leave me a comment and I'll try my best to, um, to answer it. Um, I just wanted to say thank you for all the current subscribers and everything. I wasn't expected to get this many so quick. Um, although it isn't actually that many, but I'm still I'm still happy. It's more than more than one, you know. That's that's all that counts. Um, so yeah, I'll uh, see you in the next episode.